Hello everyone. I just wanted to make another quick video about the block-in process and how to utilize the study material that I've given in a way to improve the most. So what I've done is I've picked a figure drawing from the reference folder, which is fairly simple and it's very clear in terms of the light and shadow shape design. The first thing we're going to start with is the placement. Top, bottom, left and right. To ensure that the composition fits well on the paper. If you do this, you'll never run out of space in your page again. The extreme right is the corner of the shoulder and the extreme left is the hand. Right now I'm just placing the marks using my eye as best as I can. But I know that this won't be perfect. So I place these four lines, stop and look to compare the relationship of the height and width I've created to the reference and see if I can adjust and improve something just by eye before measuring. So it's important to draw first and then measure. Now, when I measure the relationship of the width to the height on my reference, I can see that the height is slightly over three times the width. I can use that to check if that's the case in my drawing and adjust it. The other thing I like to find out where the halfway mark is in between the top and the bottom dividing the two halves and giving me a reference point it will help me judge the distance from halfway to the shoulder and the knee Once I finish the placement stage, I start laying in the big shapes again, remembering that my goal is to capture the essence of the pose in the fewest lines possible. I'm also drawing from side to side, so if I draw on the right, I draw something on the left as well. If I draw something at the top, I try to draw something on the bottom. This is also an important concept so that you don't draw, finish drawing one side first and then move on to the other side because it's about the relationships of what happens on one side to the other side. Here I'm also using my different glasses that I talked about. Uh, what are the vertical alignments? What are the horizontal alignments? What are the angles? How, what is the positive and the negative shape? And I'm using these different tools to help me find out what my mistakes are and move the big lines in an effort to make them more accurate. Also, I want to get the entire pose down simply in the first 10 minutes using a favorite 10 big lines. Because without the entire pose, which is a head, torso, legs, hand, I don't know how they relate to each other. And it will allow me to work on making the drawing accurately more easily. This might be a bit difficult if you're just beginning out. So you can also do some thumbnails before you start to see which big lines you're going to pick. And you can see here that in the simplest way possible, we've captured the entire pose while being accurate with the overall proportion, gesture, and body type. Once I'm more or less satisfied with the overall uh, simplicity of the design and proportion, I'm going to indicate a few anatomical landmarks.
Now I'm starting to break down a few of my big lines into medium lines and shapes, trying to capture the structure of the legs a bit more by differentiating the upper and lower leg, finding the angle break for the calf muscles on both legs and also finding what the relationship between them is. Along with this, I'm also indicating overlaps to show which form is closer to us and which form is further away from us. I also start to add shadow shapes in a simple manner to differentiate what is part of light and what is part of shadow because these will further help me fix my overall drawing. I also vary my edge quality of the shadow using a variety of soft and sharp edges to indicate different aspects of light and form. Here we have laid out the most important groundwork and the drawing in this stage is called the block-in. And doing lots and lots of block-in drawings is excellent practice. You can use the same process that I showed you here to draw anything you want. To conclude this, I'm just going to put in some value in my shadow, but this is not important as the value is just makeup. Without a strong, beautiful block-in, the value won't matter. And there are thousands of ways of doing this, but this is just one way that has been very helpful to me.
For a full version of this video and more, you can visit my Patreon channel. The link is in the description below. And if you found this video useful, make sure that you like, subscribe and share.